So what if there was an AI tool that could take that exact vocal that you sang and then change it into any voice, almost like as if it was a synth patch preset? <laughs> Check this out. This is Automy. So what exactly is Automy and why am I ranting and raving about it? Something that happens a lot in the production world is when you're writing a song, you will very commonly just lay down some scratch vocals, or if you have the budget for it, you would normally bring in a singer that sounds close to maybe who you'd be wanting to pitch the song to. So if you're trying to pitch a song to maybe, I don't know, somebody like Beyonce, you would probably bring in a singer that has a similar tone and range to Beyonce so that if you do end up getting the chance to pitch it to someone like Beyonce, the song's already in her key and feels very much comfortable with something that she would sing. Now, if you're just starting out and you don't have those connections and you don't have that budget, you're essentially gonna have to just use your own voice. And look, I don't sound like Beyonce, so Automy fixes that because now you can take your own vocal, feed it into Automy and try it with a bunch of different singers and the results are insane. Like I was, I'm not gonna lie, I was really skeptical when I got a code for this when they reached out because I was just kind of like, uh, I've tried AI stuff. Uh, it's not that convincing. I don't know, it just doesn't usually have a lot of soul. This is legit. So when they sent me a code and they said, uh, you can do whatever you want, I was like, okay, well, let's see. Let's push it beyond its typical use. What happens if I write a song that is intended for a girl, not so much me, and is out of my range and make it a convincing track that I could potentially then pitch or even release if I wanted to? So that was a challenge I gave myself. And I think this is one of those cases where the results speak for themselves. Okay, so I've been messing with Automy for a few hours now, and I figured that the best way to show you its capabilities is not to explain how it works first. I'm going to show you the end result first because this is what like blew my mind and got me excited about doing a video for this. I have a song here that I purposefully wrote out of my range that was intended for a girl. It's a little bit poppier. It's a little bit higher in register. And my voice sounds okay, but it could be better. Tell me, is it real or fake? Because I don't want to waste my time on something artificial. Not terrible, right? But if I was producing this song, I would do something different. So that's where Automy comes in. I'm able to feed that exact audio that you just heard of my voice into Automy's AI algorithm craziness and pick from a library of voices to then get something like this. Tell me, is it real or fake? Cause I don't wanna waste my time on something artificial. But before we go on, I'm going to go back a little bit and explain to you how I even got there. So again, I wrote a song with the purpose of writing it slightly out of my range. So my test was, can Automy take a guy's voice like mine that's not singing quite in the perfect range and then translate it to a girl's voice and make it sound legit? So obviously this AI isn't just going to sound amazing on its own. You still need to write lyrics, come up with a melody and perform it well. So I went through and I wrote some lyrics and some melodies and I recorded it quite a few times because I wanted it to sound pretty good. You're going to get out what you put in. All this is going to be doing is changing the vocal qualities of the recording. It's not going to fix your performance. So if you're hitting some bad notes, if you're off time, if you're off key, any of that stuff, it's not going to work well. So I went through and performed it as well as I could. I recorded that. And then the first part of the process is you solo your track where you're singing, get rid of any effects that you have. You're going to record it as clean as you can. You're going to want to export it with at least a bar before so that you know how to line it up once you do that. I exported that. I decided to go with my girl Becky here because I liked how Becky's voice was a little airy, kind of has a little bit of that indie pop edge, not super, super bubblegum, and I kind of like that. So what you're going to do next is you're going to upload your file into the input. You also have the option to start recording directly from the browser. I don't really see much of a point for this other than to like maybe play around with the different voices, but uh, I wouldn't use it because there's no way to like set it to a grid or anything like that. But it's nice that it has it, I guess. I upload my sample here. I can preview it. Tell me, is it real or fake? And that's right. That is uh, without music that's soloed out and there's no effects on that. So that works. You also have a pitch shift setting, which I'll explain later. For now, I'm going to leave it at zero and you hit convert. 
So now Automy is taking your vocal and processing it through their AI and basically taking my voice and throwing it to Becky's algorithm and saying, hey, Becky, sing this song for me and match it exactly. And that's what it's doing. This will take uh, a few seconds, minutes, depending on your length, but never more than five minutes. I think the most I waited was like 45 seconds. Mind you, I'm only doing half of a song. Anyways, here it is. And you're going to hear that it's identical to what I uploaded in terms of how I sang it, but with Becky's voice. Tell me, is it real or fake? Because I don't want to waste my time on something artificial. And that sounds pretty great for what it is. Yes, there's going to be a few little artifacts and stuff, but that just sounds crazy to me. Like the fact that I can literally just export something, convert it, and within a minute have an entirely new singer on my song is insane. So I'm going to download it. Then I've already thrown it into the session here and you'll see that it even has that bar that I added before so that I know where to line it up. And I drop it in and it's like you have a new singer on your track. Tell me, is it real or fake? Cause I don't want to waste my time on something artificial. I mean, <laughs> it's incredible. It's, it's, it's a, a game changer for producers in my opinion. So here when I zoom in a little bit, you'll see that my vocal is in the blue, Becky's vocal is in the bottom in the pink, and you'll see that it even matches when I'm taking breaths and little clicks and stuff like that. The AI will copy all of that, which is why I was saying it's so important to um, make sure that what you're uploading is your final performance and it's as tight as you can get it and as pitch perfect as you can get it, if that's what you're going for, obviously. In an ideal world, I would love to have Becky here in the studio, but she is not here. And so this is the next best thing. I can now show people that maybe I want to pitch this song to this version of the song with AI Becky on it. And it's going to be a lot closer to the final song that I envisioned than if it was just with my voice. And I can't tell you how many times I've uh, written and recorded a song that I knew my voice didn't work very well on that I uh, showed to somebody or I pitched it to somebody and it died before it even really got to the end of the song because they heard my voice and they're like, yeah, it's not working. It's not, it's not the song. But in my head, I was like, no, 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 this is a good song it was with the right singer. Automy lets you do that. I don't know if I can see myself releasing a full song with uh, AI vocals, just a personal preference, but it's super useful as a producer. I, I feel like I'm just going to be using this nonstop moving forward. And so just for fun, I also wanted to show you what it sounded like this same song when I processed it with different singers. And here's another one called Cammy. Tell me, is it real or fake? Cause I don't wanna waste my time on something artificial. Did you call me? So you hear like the just the change in tone already changes the whole vibe of the song. It's it's pretty incredible. And just to be able to like swap through voices pretty easily is it can really inform your production and completely take it in another direction if you find a voice that makes the song sound a little bit different. Here's a guy named Mason. Tell me, is it real or fake? Cause I don't wanna waste my time on something artificial. So here's an example that shows off that not every single AI voice is gonna work properly. In this case, it's pretty much for the same reason that my voice didn't work that well because the range that I wrote the song in is slightly higher, and so it's intended for a girl, and Mason's voice is probably a little bit lower like mine. So even though the AI is going to try to hit those notes, like you can hear a little bit more artifacting, and the tone gets a little bit more harsh, but it's nice that you can just very quickly try it. Let's try out Stacy. Tell me, is it real or fake? Because I don't want to waste my time on something artificial. I mean, that sounds cool too. A lot more airy, but for this song, Becky's going to stay on it. Tell me, is it real or fake? So I said I was going to talk about the pitch shifting a little bit, and now I'm going to explain to you why you might want to use that. So when I got to the chorus here, it was going to be way too high, and I was going to have to go falsetto, so I sang it an octave down. I'm just trying to keep it real. You know that's the deal, so just keep it real with me. So I didn't want to sing that an octave up because it would have been in falsetto and I don't have as much control up there. So what I would have fed the AI would have probably not been as good. So what ended up happening is that obviously when I fed that to Becky an octave down, Becky sang it an octave down too. Just to keep it real. You know 
And it didn't sound bad. It's just that that part of Becky's range doesn't shine as much as the higher part of her range. That's an easy fix. All I'm going to do here is pitch shift all the way up to 12 semitones, which is one octave, if you're not aware. And I'm going to hit convert. And I obviously already did this. And so all that's going on there is that Automy is shifting up the vocal that you fed it an octave up and then feeding that to the AI. And so what comes out instead is this higher vocal that's an octave up. I'm just trying to keep it real. You know that's the deal, so just keep it real with me. So that sounds a lot more natural for Becky. And I thought it would be a cool idea to blend them together. So I'm going to keep the octave down one that, that I got from her, but lower it a little bit in, in gain. I'm just trying to keep it real. You know that's the deal, so just keep it real with me. I'm not looking for new friends. So you gotta keep it straight with me. I don't do none of that pretend. Now that you've seen the tech and you're impressed or not impressed, um, I wanted to talk about some of the kind of more heady sort of things that have to do with AI. I think one of the biggest concerns with AI when it comes to like voices and any sort of like intellectual property, it's kind of a bizarre concept that now you have these situations where people are going to be able to license out their voices for services like this. From my understanding, what Automy is doing here is they've hired a bunch of different singers that very clearly knew what they were getting into and they were probably paid pretty handsomely to be a part of this. Because this is kind of a slippery slope. If you're a singer and you have a very unique tone and a company like this reaches out to you to potentially license your voice, you have to understand that now, me as a producer, I could make you sing on any song of mine. And if one of those songs ends up being a number one hit, you're probably not getting royalties for that. The reality is you're getting what you got when you got paid up front to license out your voice. I don't know what that number is. They don't disclose that information, but I assume if it's anything like what I've seen going on around in the standard industry, it's a pretty high number. And even though that number might be pretty high, that money doesn't last forever. And so if you're ever considering doing this and a company approaches you about this, you know, really think about it. I don't know if they have some kind of royalty system set up, but um, we're gonna really see things like this happening really quick and evolving extremely fast. And so it's like a really curious thing. I think um, a service like this is good for the talent and the creators because it seems like it's all very much out there in the open and they know what they're getting into. I know what I'm getting into. And so it's a win-win for me. Now the big question is, does this replace actual singers? Do we never have to get singers in the studio again? No. The reality is, is that they have a limited library that you can pick from. And if this service really blows up and everybody starts using it, you're going to start hearing the same 20 singers on all songs and people will catch on pretty quick. And AI will always end up serving as a tool more so than as a replacement for the real thing. And I think this is a great tool, but there's nothing like, you know, working with somebody in the studio and really going back and forth and getting really nitty gritty with the details. And, you know, that's something that I don't think AI will be able to replicate anytime soon. Automy has been nice enough to hook me up with a referral link for this. If you want to try it out for yourself, click the link in the description. Helps me out. But, you know, you get to try it out too. But what do you think? Is this a controversial piece of tech? Do you hate it? Do you love it? Debate in the comments. Be nice to each other. But um, if you like this content, please go ahead and subscribe and like it. And, well, check out more of my content if, if that's your thing. But uh, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.